Welcome to Chelsea Sport Update. Before we start the video, please subscribe, like and feel free to comment. Thomas Tuchel's major gamble pays off as Chelsea get fresh Erling Holland transfer update The latest news from around Stamford Bridge as Chelsea and Thomas Tuchel prepare for Premier League action against West Ham United at the weekend. Here's all the news from around Stamford Bridge over the past 24 hours. Holland transfer update Borussia Dortmund sporting director Michael Zorc has stressed that Erling Holland will be at the club next season. The 20-year-old has been linked with a move to Stamford Bridge as Tuchel looks to sign the perfect striker that will score the goals to help the Blues mount a Premier League title challenge next season. However, it would appear Holland is going nowhere. We have made our position clear on the Holland case. The decision will not be made without Borussia Dortmund, Zork told Sky. No matter where we end up, Erling will continue to play for us. This update comes after the German club's CEO Hans Joachim Watzke also insisted there are no plans to cash in on Holland this summer. We do not have a parallel plan. We will discuss this with Erling, his father and his agent Mino Raiola, Watzke told Goal and DAZN. We also want him to be happy to stay with us, to score goals for BVB next year with conviction. There is no alternative plan. I'm not getting involved in probabilities, it's no good. Super League admission Juventus chairman Andrea Agnelli has admitted that the European Super League cannot continue without the six Premier League clubs who withdrew from the plans on Tuesday. Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur, as well as Manchester City, Manchester United and Liverpool, performed a dramatic U-turn on their decision to join the controversial breakaway league, just two days after its launch. The six Premier League sides have now been joined by Spanish club Atletico Madrid and Italian side Inter Milan who have today confirmed that they too would be withdrawing from the plans for the Super League. And Agnelli, who resigned his position as chairman of the European Clubs Association to become a key player in the new league, now accepts that the plans will have to be shelved. To be frank and honest no, evidently that is not the case. However, the Juventus chief, who was strongly criticized by UEFA president Alexander Seferin on Monday, has refused to give up on the idea entirely. I remain convinced of the beauty of that project, of the value that it would have developed to the pyramid, of the creation of the best competition in the world, but evidently no. I don't think that project is now still up and running. Kepa Aritha Balaga kept goal for Tuesday's goalless draw with Brighton and Hove Albion. Having been almost completely sidelined by former manager Frank Lampard, the Spaniard has now started five games since Thomas Tuchel was appointed as head coach in January. Many would have expected Eduard Mendy to reclaim his spot for the visit of the Seagulls, so it was somewhat of a surprise to see Kepa get the nod. Tuchel perhaps took a calculated risk in playing Kepa on Tuesday night but it paid off with another clean sheet for the Blues. Football. London understands the Blues hierarchy are not willing to completely give up on the £71 million stopper, despite sanctioning a deal to sign Mendy ahead of the 2020-21 season from Wren. That's all for now from Stamford Bridge. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching.